Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. Today we'll be talking about Arch Linux and my experience with Arch in general. And if you should use it as a beginner, I will add that to my list as well. I'm a beginner myself. I started using Linux three months ago and actually I enjoyed it. And I want to share my experience with you, right? So first of all, I open the terminal so we see what we're dealing with. Yes, before you say anything, I'm going to tell you something, sir. This is end of OS based on Arch. Somebody in the comments will tell me, oh, it's end of o. You cannot say you use Arch by the way. Well, excuse the hell out of me. Before installing Endovo, I actually installed Arch Linux. In bare bones, without using the Arch install thingy, that is way easier, more convenient. But I actually installed everything myself, and something that actually took a lot of my time is basically partitioning my disk. I might be stupid, but I don't really know. Overall, I read the f***ing manual, so sit your ass down and let me talk. The reason why I did read the f***ing manual is because I didn't want to deal with some toxic Arch user that will just keep, you know, arguing about arch and all of that because i know i'm toxic myself i'm that type of person that's if you just give him that little spark i will blow up as simple as that like boom bada bum bada boom you know you're just not gonna deal with me i'm a mad person deep inside i'm sweet i will give time to anyone that need that time i'll give attention to people that needs it i will help you and everything even though at some points i will become a really expert arch user of how much i will use arch and i'm ready to help anyone that needs help doesn't matter if it's arch or not arch but there is some people out there that will be like a bit more toxic here and really hard to deal with. So you rather actually read the manual than deal with those people. Because in the first place, they will not even help you. And instead, they will just tell you, hey, read the manual and send you a link to actually read that stupid manual in the Arch wiki. The only really complicated part of Arch is the installation. And that's really it. I'm a beginner. I daily use Arch. This is Arch. You can consider that as Arch. Besides the installation, that's the only different part. But in the Vault OS is based on Arch. So basically Arch. How many times I said Arch? It's Arch. Simple as that. Me as a beginner, I'm using it. You can use it too. So don't stop yourself from just using something you're interested in. When I first learned about Linux in general, Arch really got my attention. Mainly because of how people tinker with it. How people customize it and make it look the way they want it to. And that's something I wanted a long time ago and they didn't have with windows because you know the lack of options and this whole windows bullshit that they really hate at this point so such a thing was like a really cool idea and they actually installed arch and then switched to cache then to endeavor it was like really a big mess basically this show hoping until i discovered that you know what i'm just gonna stick to endeavor os and at some points if i didn't really like it anymore i will switch to cache os and that's gonna be it i don't need to switch anymore i feel more comfortable with this shows like that this are based on arch than other distributions like Ubuntu or whatever. So the first thing you should expect after installing Arch is that you have a lot of options, okay? You have a lot of substitute. It's gonna be a bare bone installation and you gotta customize it. The customizing part depends. If you use, for example, KDE Plasma or use XFCE or use Hyperland or i3, I don't really recommend that. I would say if you wanna take it literally to the hardcore level, go with i3 or Hyperland. But if you just wanna keep it normal and okay-ish, go with with something like KDE Plasma, it's going to offer you the best customizing options and basically everything going to be simple to do. And I'm not saying that just randomly, I'm saying it's because I actually used Hyperland and i3. Both of them are cool and both of them are really amazing. But as a beginner, I really didn't enjoy it that much because I'm used to use the mouse and keyboard and simply just completely relying on a keyboard wasn't the best idea at that point. And they decided to get back to KDE Plasma or or XFCE. So that depends on you. If you're going to use any desktop environments, make sure you make your researches before doing anything and see if it's actually going to fit with your personality. Talking about the personality, Linux kind of gets you out of the comfort zone. You might be like, why? It's just a distribution. Well, it's not only a distribution. It's a whole different personality for yourself you gotta have to start dealing with problems sometimes you gotta like find solutions for some things you gotta do everything yourself something that you're not used to with windows so keep that in mind because me when i first discovered linux and i started using linux and all of that it was really complicated one thing to say I don't really regret is actually switching to linux why because it's basically created a new different personality from me i got out of that comfort zone and if i just 
get to use in Windows at that point, I wasn't going to learn none of those stuff I know now. And I'm really proud of myself, actually. I'm going to be honest. All of those things I learned didn't just happen out of nowhere. I learned everything myself. Even though I'm still a beginner and I'm still learning and I'm happy to learn. The fact that I'm learning something, it just changes my mood and makes me really proud of myself instead of being a silly ass dummy bitch. Sitting down on my chair and laying down watching YouTube on my stupid Windows machine. You got my point. So it's also more like a personality than a distro. And I'm sure you've seen those memes on the internet where they say, Oh, what's your Linux distro say about you? So if that's not a proof that the Linux word is more than a, just an operating system thingy, but a whole different thing. It's you're not actually going to expect. If you came from like some other Linux distributions, it's going to be okay. You're not really going to feel that much different. Besides the packages and all that, like, the way you install stuff and deal with stuff that's gonna be it but rather than that linux is linux and there is a lot of similarities in between distros now for the most part will they actually recommend arch linux for beginners i would say if you want to get yourself out of that comfort zone go for it but if you want to go like really low end and now go that deep and slowly get yourself into the linux world go with something like this end of os gonna be perfect for you you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna like it also during the installation you don't have to go with kde plasma you can go with something else you can basically customize everything as well almost the same experience basically so don't really expect that much differences between bare bones linux and end of all after the installation and i would rather say they're both almost the same give us a try i don't really have that much things to say or to share with you guys because i'm a beginner myself but i'm still trying to share the beginner experience while i'm learning about arch linux and all of that so you get the point and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe leave a comment let me know how was your experience with arch once you installed this for the first time see you in the next one